everything that uh, the student athletes have done at Danbury. This was by far the craziest sports seasons ending from last March all the way up and through this fall. Um, but, you know, when we are talking in constant communications with the city, um, it's very important to understand that we did not have and did a great job following our guidelines and following our protocols to the point where we didn't have anything from July 6th until mid-October. When everyone else was shutting down and in and out, we were able to stay the course, get as many games in as, as we were allowed to get in. Um, in the end of October, it got a little bit and caught up with us. But uh, not too many schools were able to do what the coaches and athletes in the fall did, which was, you know, stay, stay the course, you know, take away those temptations to go and social gather and, and make sure that we did everything. Um, so I'm very proud of that, that you could do it. And hopefully we can roll that into school when we come back in the second semester. I do have to say a shout out to Mr. Salvestrini and Joanne, who, uh, like many of the administrators in the district have had to do things four or five times over because we make one plan and it gets switched. Uh, so this has been a trying year for him, but Mr. Salvestrini uh, has never once said anything or complained about it. He just went forward and did it. Also to uh, Emily and the trainers did a great job of making sure that we followed the protocols. And I know many times you may think it's a little bit too much or overbearing, but it worked. And we did something that a lot of people couldn't. And to the fall coaches, you all did a fantastic job this year. Uh, you really had a, more than just the teaching on your plate and coaching from what you're used to. This added a whole new level. And I couldn't be more proud uh, to have you as coaches. And I thank you for all that you do. Um, so with that, I hope we continue to stay on this course, uh, come back in the second semester get our you know, athletes back on the courts and fields and things like that, and we can have a successful uh, second half of the year. So thank you. Great job, athletes. Uh, keep up the good work. Thanks, Mr. Donovan. I'd uh, also like to ask uh, Mr. Kirsten to say a couple of words. We're trying something brand new. Uh, those who know me, uh, I'm not really as – not very tech savvy. Uh, in fact, Mr. Donovan laughs every time I pull out my phone. But I want to thank Mr. Kirsten for helping me uh, get this virtual thing. And Bill, if you would just tell a little bit about the process here. Yes, for sure. Uh, first off, if you haven't uh, put your button on, uh, if you have not uh, taken off your ability to speak, I would do so uh, that all the teachers will attest. We hear some interesting things when our students do not mute themselves. Uh, secondly, welcome to all the parents, all the athletes uh, that have joined us through the YouTube link. Uh, it has been an unbelievable effort on uh, Mr. Donovan, especially Chip, the AD, Mr. Salvestrini, and of course, uh, the glue that keeps it all together, uh, Coach T, uh, besides being the best cheerleading coach in the state, she does an unbelievable job of putting things like this together. Uh, the amount of changes this fall has been unbelievable. Believable. So uh, if you have a friend athlete or mom or dad and they could not make this, uh, the YouTube will be available when it's done. And we're going to do our very best to present all of the plaques at the same time that the coach is speaking. That's it. Thank you. Okay, Bill. Thank you very much. I uh, just want to echo a couple of things here. I thank Bill um, Kirsten for helping, helping me out. Sterling, uh, Mr. Donovan. Two athletic trainers. This is we're talking about times now in the uh, COVID times, unforeseen. Un, we never had any plan, any way of doing this. We just kind of every day we had to do something different. Uh, Emily and Gabriella, thank you very much for everything you've done as athletic trainers. Very proud to have you with us, and very proud of the way we you guys handled everything, the day-to-day -day operations with the medical staff and the, in the district with the COVID issues. Um, I'd like to thank you coaches, seriously. I mean, we could not have done it without your commitment. As Mr. Donovan mentioned, we went from July 6th through almost near the end of the October without an issue. And then ultimately we had to limp in, but we did what we set out to do is give the kids a playing experience that uh, was, you know, we look back in a couple of years, it's gonna be a great thing for these kids to have this opportunity to play. Um, 
the athletes, those athletes out there, thank you very much. Uh, you know, no one's more disappointed than me uh, not being able to really put championship season together and all those things that you pictures we miss. We miss some of the little things that we take for granted. I want you to know it was not an easy run here this fall, but I do thank the coaches. I thank you as athletes, the seniors especially. Uh, we could not have done it without you. And with the effort that you gave us, uh, we are going to get through this winter somehow. As we speak today, December 10th, we don't know where we are yet with the winter season, but we will find out in January, early January, and we hopefully we can pick up from that particular point. It's been a battle, but uh, with the holidays and the COVID and people you know who've had COVID, uh, it's a difficult time. All we ask is, is that we work forward, support one another, and do the best we possibly can every day. It doesn't cost any money to do that. Uh, again, thank you for everyone who's done that. And the parents out there, thank you for your support. Okay, we're going to start it off. We're just going to do the normal, try to do the as normal as possible. Um, never thought I'd say a virtual is as normal as possible, but we're going to ask our coaches to, to uh, we'll turn it over to the head coach, make their presentations. Uh, jo Joanne is to my left, and she will show the award plaque uh, of the winning athlete. Uh, and before, probably on Monday, we'll come out with a day and let everybody know the day the athletes can come to the high school and pick up their award plaques. Now, those with letters, certificates, pins, we have to wait until we get back in school, which hopefully is the end of January. And we will make sure that the kids get all those uh, awards there. Okay, so starting off, I'm going to turn it over to Coach T and cheerleading. Thanks, Chip. Good afternoon. I would first like to thank Mr. Salvestrini, our trainers, Emily and Gabriella, the nurses, the custodians, Principal Donovan, and all of the fall coaches and athletes for doing a phenomenal job to ensure that we could have a fall season. Also, thanks go out to Coach Kirsten and Mr. Miller for organizing this fall awards presentation. For cheerleading, we were able to cheer on the sidelines for several soccer and 7v7 football games, which we enjoyed. We were very grateful that we were able to have a senior night, which was one of the highlights of our fall season. On November 5th, the team was able to participate in our first ever game day competition, uh, where the team took first place and had the highest score of all divisions. We're hopeful and looking forward to having a winter competitive season. I would first like to recognize our three seniors who have remained very positive throughout this season. They are Avery Marquis, Chris King, and Rebecca Camacho. Thank you, seniors. I would also like to recognize our team captains who are really trying to keep the team motivated and physically fit during this time. Our captains are Avery Marquis, Abby Hamilton, Grace King, and Sydney Corcoran. Thank you, captains. Our sportsmanship winner has demonstrated a very positive attitude this year, is willing to take on any role and contributes as a team player. She is also a very good student as well. Congratulations go out to sophomore cheerleader, Sabella Brimage. Congratulations, Sabella. Our scholar athlete for cheerleading has a 4.2 GPA. She's a senior captain and just recently signed a letter of intent to compete in acrobatics and tumbling at Lander University in South Carolina. Congratulations go out to our scholar athlete, Avery Marquis. Congratulations, Avery. Thank you. Thank you, Coach T. I'd like to ask uh, Coach Thierry to speak about uh, Danbury High School football. 
Coach Thierry. Thank you, Chip. Um, obviously, the circumstances this year, um, I feel like we're using that word unprecedented uh, pretty often. And uh, this year was without a doubt um, unlike any other. Um, I remember this time last year during the award banquet talking about some of the hardships that we had overcome as far as fields were concerned. We were redoing the track and it was difficult. We were traveling from place to place just to have practice and, you know, thanking the coordination of our athletic staff um, in trying to help facilitate that. And that was even, you know, that was nothing compared to what we had to go through this year um, just to be able to do what we were able to do. Um, so I can't, Thank enough um, all the people involved from Chip to Coach T to really everyone, our, our, our admins uh, from top to bottom, um, literally from Dr. Sal to uh, Dan Donovan, um, just getting complete support to be able to help facilitate uh, this season and even happening in any, any way, shape or form. Um, I tell my players all the time, you know, I, this was, this is a badge of courage for them. Uh, I think that, you know, typically throughout life, uh, as they get older, they're going to realize that um, you, you end you end up talking more about the hardships that you've overcome than the successes that you have at times. And this is their great story and what they were able to achieve and overcome to be able to have the season that they were able to have and to um, enjoy any sort of competitive football games this year up to this point, you know, it took a lot from our kids to be able to stay focused, fight through all the things that we've had to go through just to be able to do what we did. And uh, I'm tremendously proud of all of our student athletes and everyone in our program, all of our parents, everybody that was involved, uh, part of our village to be able to make this happen. I'm just really tremendously proud to be a part of that. And obviously my coaches, the sacrifice that they made um, day in and day out, you know, the, 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 the sacrifices, the risk that we put ourselves under to try to pr provide the best opportunity for our kids. And I'm just tremendously proud of our entire um, program in, in being able to make this happen. Um, the young men we're, gonna rep uh, we're going to recognize today, um, I'll start with the freshmen. Um, my freshman head coach, uh, DJ Williams, was not able to attend. They have parent-teacher conferences today for REACH. Um, but... He uh, nominated a player from the freshman team uh, for the Sportsmanship Award. Um, his remarks in regarding this young man, he said, described him as hardworking, always does what's asked, a quiet leader, football smart, great role model of sportsmanship, coachable and detail oriented. Okay, and our freshman Sportsmanship Award goes to Matt Morehouse. So congratulations to Matt uh, for representing everything that this ward is about. Our JV Sportsmanship Award goes to a young man, a sophomore, um, who plays way above his size. Uh, you know, he's uh, not, you know, one of the bigger kids in the program, but he plays way above it in the fact that he hits as hard as anybody in the program, um, outworks a, a good number of kids on the team, uh, even though he's only a sophomore, shows up every day to practice, has a great attitude. Uh, and he's not a very vocal kid. He's just a hardworking kid and does everything he's asked to do and made an impact already as a sophomore. We're extremely proud of this young man. Our JV Sportsmanship Award goes to Kushan Perkins, Cushy Perkins. Our Varsity Sportsmanship Award. Uh, this young man easily could have won the Scholar Athlete Award. Okay, he's one of the uh, most, you know, well-achieved academic kids in our program. 4.5 weighted GPA, 1330 on his SAT, um, and he matches his school work ethic on the field as as one of our quarterbacks. Um, if you haven't gotten a chance to see this young man's story, I implore you to. He's been nominated for several awards, including Heart of the Giant. Um, he won um, the most prestigious award given by the SEAC, um, and he's being nominated for more awards as we speak. Um, 
the, the things that he's overcome in his life to be able to achieve what he has achieved. Uh, we are tremendously proud of, and he's, you know, a senior in high school and destined to achieve even more at the next level. Um, our J, our varsity sportsmanship award goes to Patrick Rossetti. And last but not least, our scholar athlete award. Um, this young man is accomplished in so many ways. Um, He's the captain and leader of our football team. He represents us in, in a positive way in every way, shape, or form on and off the field. Um, his leadership qualities leads by example, leads vocally. Um, same thing academically, uh, tremendous marks in school. Um, as a football player, he's played multiple positions unselfishly, has done everything we've asked him to do to help our team be successful. Um, and has exhibited leadership on a whole different level and as far as what we needed from him this year to be able to be successful and have a football season. Um, he's taken on almost as like an assistant coach in the role that he's taken on and, and what I've asked him to do. And um, so our scholar athlete award goes to DJ Donovan. Extremely, extremely proud of this young man. Thank you guys. Thank you, Coach Thierry. Uh, next up is uh, boys soccer, Coach Anthony Howard. Coach? Hello, everyone. Yes, uh, I want to start by echoing the comments already made uh, about the athletic department. It certainly was uh, a big ask for everybody to do what they did to get the, the athletes on the field, and we're very appreciative of that. Um, I must say I, I, I want a big... Uh, shout out to all the athletes, in, especially my guys that didn't once complain about the circumstances that we were put under. Um, you know, the the temperature checks, the checking in, the restrictions, what we could couldn't do on the field. Uh, I didn't have one complaint for the for the short period of time that I was on the field with with my guys, and I think that a lot of it stems from my my two captains, Matt Silver, Matthew Aracena, that just kind of got on with everything that was kind of handed to them and uh, credit to, to everyone for that. Uh, unfortunately, we, we had our season cut kind of short because of, because of some cases and whatever else, but uh, the short time that we did have together, my team uh, played some fantastic soccer, probably one of the most technically talented teams I've had since being at the school. It was certainly a joy to to watch them compete and play in probably the hardest FCAC group on the soccer side uh, in particular, where five of the six teams I feel would have comfortably made the top eight on a regular season. And that that's what made the whole miniature season very, very enjoyable because there, was, there, there wasn't an easy game and the boys played and, and pretty much outplayed most of the teams that we came up against. And that was, uh, that was certainly one of the highlights for me. And, and in doing so, I must say my, my guys just enjoyed themselves. Uh, we, we trained and we played as if it was probably our last time on the field from, from word go. It, there was always that, that aura hanging over that it could end short any time. Unfortunately it did, but, that meant that every time we were on the field, we we enjoyed ourselves. We were we were happy, and the memories I have from the training field, as well as the games, are, uh, will stay with me for some time. Um, unfortunately, we had two senior nights cancelled because of uh, COVID cases, so we were unable to honour our seniors. I I had 19 seniors this year, which is is quite a number, and. They deserve to be recognized, but um, unfortunately that wasn't the case. Um, we're hoping to to honor them maybe early spring or in the spring at uh, some sort of event and, and give them the, the, uh, the, the honor that they deserve. Um, I want to thank my, my staff, uh, Franz Warren, Wes Reese, Tommy Godardo, and, and Manny Caterino for, for their hard work this year as well. Uh, looking at the JV and freshman teams in particular, uh, it, the future looks extremely positive for the soccer program as it as it has done for many years, and and hopefully next year will be somewhat uninterrupted. Um, some some basic awards just to start. Um, 
from a soccer standpoint, from the CIAC, um, we actually had uh, an all-state player again this year. Uh, his name was uh, Yeremik Garcia, a young man that uh, came in to the to the country last year, and is possibly one of the most gifted soccer players I've, I've had the pleasure of, of coaching. Um, fantastic talent, who was very much the heartbeat of our our team in midfield this year. Uh, also, Chris Carrasco and Matthew uh, Matthew Silva received all FCAC honours this year as well. So, congrats to those three guys. In terms of uh, the the sportsmanship awards, um, first of all, Tommy Godardo is unable to to get on the call today. But if I start with the the JV uh, sportsmanship award, ultimately the the message for myself and Manny and Tommy, the the staff of the JV and the freshman team, is really to to nominate someone regardless of their contribution necessarily on a game day, but it's their attitude throughout the year, um, their approach to training, their approach to other people on the field and, and how they conduct themselves uh, on and off the field. Uh, for the JV, uh, Tommy Godardo nominated uh, a young man by the name of Roberto Galaza. Well done, Roberto. Um, I'll let Manny come in and talk about the, the freshman, but from on from the varsity level, uh, this player, again, didn't complain once, trained extremely hard, if not harder than a lot of other players on the in the program, thoroughly deserves a sportsmanship award. His name is uh, Leo Vasquez, so well done to Leo on the, on the varsity team. Um, before I pass over quickly to Manny, uh, the Scholar Athlete Award, um, goes to uh, a young man who I, I think is probably one of the most well-rounded young men that, that I've had the pleasure of coaching. Um, very popular, um, almost the social leader on the team. Um, backed it up by, you know, outside of soccer, he was a, a weightlifting champion um, and, and his schoolwork was also... Uh, Extremely, extremely good with some great grades as well. So my scholar athlete this year is is Nicholas Atina. So well done to to Nicholas. Um, so th that's it from me. I'm going to quickly pass it over to to Manny, my freshman coach. Um, I think the freshmen, you know, their first taste of high school soccer, as with any athletics, was not what it should have been. But I think they deserve a little mention from from Coach Manny as well. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, Coach Howard. I appreciate that. Um, first of all, I want to thank um, Mr. Salvatrini, Joanne, our trainers, Emily and Gabby for all their hard work this year. Like you mentioned, Coach Howard, uh, as a freshman coming to a new school is always hard, and this year it was a gift. I told my players every day, uh, practice or games, it's a gift. Um, and they actually did everything of what they were told. Like you said, I thank their coaches, all the questions and so on. Um, so my my partnership award goes to this player who came to practice every day and complained once, and he actually became a leader as the season went on, and his future looks bright. So the I nominate uh, Noah Bross for this partnership for the freshman. Thank you. Thank you, boys soccer coach Caterino, coach Howard. Next up, coach Hallis and girls soccer. Yes. Hi there. Good afternoon. Um, again, sincere, sincere thank you to Mr. Salvestrini, Mrs. Tatterzicki, Emily and Gabby, everyone else behind the scenes, Principal Donovan, who made everything possible this year. Um, one thing, you know, we have uh, a veteran in Mr. Salvestrini and his communication is always on point. Um, he's organized. He's right to the T and as he gets information, it comes in and it goes out. And as a coach for me personally, that's so helpful, um, you know, just to calm nerves as we're going through something as crazy as this. So Mr. Salvestrini, thank you um, for everything, you know, that you've done to make this possible. Um, one thing I just want to mention that was incredibly helpful and, and it came down obviously through Danbury was the live link that was provided. You know, given the circumstances share with fans and everyone not being able to attend, um, that link was greatly appreciated. Um, you know, I know by all of our parents and spectators who were not able to attend our games. So for providing that live link uh, to watch all of our games from afar. 
Uh, my coaching staff, Coach Moore, Coach Schusner, Coach Anderson, Coach Reggiano, Coach Moravsky, for all of your time um, and effort and just your attention to detail, you know, really to provide a safe environment for the kids to come to and just kind of let go and enjoy themselves um, to be at. Like so many, I feel incredibly grateful that we were able to have the opportunity to, to practice and compete, even if it was just within our region. Um, it brought, I think, a sense of, a small sense of normalcy, you know, for many of us, and, and obviously a lot of us needed that. So for my seniors, I don't wanna do a whole lot with um, presentation outside of the sportsmanship and scholar athlete, cause I'm, I'm really confident and hoping that we're gonna be able to celebrate again in the spring, like like um, coach was just talking about, but for our senior class, I tr feel truly blessed to have had this last season with you guys. Um, I was inspired by your growth that, you know, over the last four years, your leadership, um, again, you never complained, you helped, you stayed organized in your pods, the checklist went so smooth and I really could not have done it without uh, the seniors and our captains this year. Thank you for all of our supportive parents. I know it was difficult for you guys as well, um, but your support, your patience, adjusting to the schedules of the kids not being in school, having to get them to practice, um, you know, around your work schedules. Uh, obviously, you, you make so much of that possible, and I appreciate um, all that you guys have done. For our sportsmanship award, I would like to introduce Coach Anderson. He's here with us today so he can present his award. He is our freshman coach. Hello, everybody. It's Coach Anderson. Uh, talk about the short season. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Coach uh, Salvestrini, Aaron, Joanne, Emily, Gabriella, all the coaches. Um, I know it was a difficult time this year. Uh, we're going to hope for a better season next year uh, when we get past this situation. Uh, I'll talk about my uh, sportsmanship award winner. Uh, a great young lady uh, that come in every day, work hard in practice, um, took that hard work to the games. Uh, I was really impressed with her because of the respect that she has for the coach and the teammates and the love of the game. Also, uh, as you know, uh, it's not only just about being able to play the game, but also performing in the classroom. Uh, this young lady had a uh, 3.7 GPA, which is great to hear for a young person. Um, my sportsmanship winner is uh, Caroline uh, Stanton. Great job, Caroline. Thank you all very much. Thanks, Coach Anderson. Coach Morawski, Coach Reggiano, when do you want to take the lead for JV? Definitely. So good afternoon. Uh, we thank you for being here today. My name is Coach Morawski, and I'm here with my co-coach, Coach Reggiano. We were so thankful to have the opportunity to coach JV girls soccer together and what a wild ride it was. Um, although our season didn't turn out the way we expected, we were very thankful to get to know this great group of girls. Our girls love to dance, tell us when our hair looked good, and our girls especially love to do their push-ups and their 15-minute runs. We had a lot of strong personalities on the team, and each one of them were not afraid to be themselves. We were thankful to have great leadership on our team too. Our captain, Kayla Patterson, was fearless, strong-willed, and bold. She was so supportive of the other girls on the team, too. Kayla was looked up to by each player on our team, and we were so thankful for all of your hard work, Kayla. Coach? Somebody we thought deserved recognition like Kayla is deserving of this award today. She is courageous, daring, spirited, and respected. She was constantly working to be a better athlete, student, and daughter. She is respectful to her own teammates as well as our opponents and referees. She is truly the definition of having sportsmanship. Today, Coach Mabowski and I would like to recognize Tiana Taff as the rep uh, recep recipient wow, of the Sportsman Award. Great job, T. 
Thank you, coaches. And for our varsity sportsmanship award, uh, this player, like so many, she displayed tremendous character. She was a team, had a team first attitude, um, a selfless spirit. Although she wasn't able to be on the field as much, she struggled with a nagging injury um, that stayed with her kind of throughout the year. But you know, she was on the, like I said, team first attitude and just selfless spirit. Sportsmanship for varsity goes to Jenna Silva. And for our varsity scholar athlete award, this player clearly excelled on the field um, and in the classroom. She was always, always looking to be better, literally in every way possible. Um, her work ethic was tr absolutely tremendous. Um, and our scholar athlete for varsity girls soccer goes to Lexi Silva. Congratulations, girls. Thank you, Coach Hallis. Now we're going to the coach that's way older than me, Coach Mack, girls volleyball. You're on mute, Coach. Coach, you're on mute. I don't know. Coach, Coach Mack, just bring just bring your cursor down to the bottom and that white taskbar should pop up. And then that microphone that has the red on it, just click on that. All right, I'm on. I am old, I guess, with all this technology. I'd like to uh, congratulate all the athletes. And although it's repetitive, I want to give a huge thank you to the administration, to Mr. Dan Donovan, to Chip Salvestrini, to Joanne, Gabby, and Emily, who fought for us to even have a season and then were able to manage it right to the end. So thank you for all of that. I. Um, want to talk about our team. We had a great season and I actually enjoyed this group. I enjoyed even all the hardships with COVID uh, coming to practice every day and the team worked hard. They were competitive in every match and they had great leadership from the seniors and I'd like to acknowledge them. We have Kathleen Cummins, Priscilla George, Olivia Hallis, Captains Haley Gundick, Captain Ryan Hicks, and Captain Isabel Roberts. They showed great leadership and they came and practiced hard every day. They came and played matches hard every day because they knew that every game could have been their last. And even our practices were competitive. It was just a tribute to the senior leadership and the hard work that the girls put in. Um, I want to, um, mention a couple of awards that uh, were special for the uh, FCAC first team. Central Division was Kathleen Cummins and also the first team FCAC Central Division, Ryan Hicks. Ryan also won or uh, was awarded a second team All-State. I just found that out the other day. And that's quite an impressive group of players that she's with. And she also won the Val Dickinson Memorial Volleyball award, which is given by the referees to a student who has great leadership, great skill, and is a great teammate. So that's quite a prestigious offer as well, or a award as well. Um, I'd like to uh, mention those six seniors one last time. We have to give the uh, Scholar Award. All six of those girls are on the National Honor Society, a very bright group of individuals and classy individuals as well. Um, I would, we did get our senior night in and I want to thank Mrs. Peral for spearheading that and all the parents who put it together. It was uh, quite a nice event. Um, we, um, I'd like to thank my coaches as well. Tom Rotunda, who's not here, uh, Aaron Stores and Katie Felmuth. Uh, the one hard thing that I found for volleyball was we had to wear the masks in the gym. And in the beginning, it was not a lot of fun, but the kids got used to it. 
And after a while, it uh, everybody just wore their mask, and that's just the way it was. Um, the sports person awards, it's always a special person. They're the person who is a great teammate, who has great character. All the coaches have mentioned all the attributes of these individuals. And for the freshmen, it was Olivia Robles. For the, interestingly enough, when I asked my assistant coaches who would be the, the sports person award, they each came up with the names right away. It wasn't even a, a thought. They're really well-deserving ladies. For the JV, it was Emily Mattis. And for the varsity, it was a junior Maya Seng. For our... Um, Varsity uh, Scholar Athlete Award. Um, like I said, all the girls were on the National Honor Society. I think her GPA, if I'm not correct, is like a 4.5. I don't even know how you could do that. And that goes to Olivia Hallis. I'd like to wish all the athletes a happy holiday and certainly a happy, happy 2021. Thank you. Thank you, Coach Mack. Next up, field hockey and Coach Pro. Coach? Okay. Thank you so much, Tip. I would like to join my coaching colleagues in thanking our athletic director, Mr. Salvestrini and Ms. Tadazicki, for their tremendous support during this extremely unique season. You faced so many different challenges, and you were able to handle everything in a positive, upbeat manner. Thank you so much for the numerous sports you updates. I use them as my alarm each and every morning. Your tremendous communication skills was very, very effective. Thank you so much. We would be remiss if we didn't give a big thank you to our two athletic trainers, Emily Beers and Gabriella Prata. Your assistance on the sidelines, both physically, mentally, as well as emotionally, was appreciated. I would also like to give a big thank you to our coaching staff, varsity volunteer assistant, Coach Martino, as well as our JV coach, Coach Cole, and our freshman coach, Coach Pukowski. They were tremendous assets this year. We would also like to thank our field hockey booster organization for all their efforts and hard work. I also would like to thank our parents for their positive support. And of course, we would like to thank all the players from all three levels. We were so happy to get our season in and play the majority of our games. We are looking forward to working with our underclassmen next year. We want to wish our 11 seniors the best of luck in their future endeavors. They are Captain Stephanie Coelho, Savannah Dorsch, Captain Grace Dykeman, Captain Harley Hodge, Marissa Hope, Yari Martinez, Captain Brenda Mello, Lucia O'Brien, Reggie Silva, Julia Wobblesher, and Ava Williams. Senior Captain Harley Hodge was named to the all FCAC Central Regional Team. Congratulations, Harley, for all of your hard work. Our varsity scholar athlete was Grace Dykeman, who excelled within the classroom as well as the playing field. Well done. Our varsity sportsmanship award winner was Reggie Silva, who never ever gave up, regardless what the scoreboard said. Reggie was out there battling each and every day. Again, congratulations, Reggie. And now let's hear from our JV coach, Coach Cole. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, our Sportsman Award is gonna go to the young lady who may be one of the quieter players on our team, but she is always willing to jump in when and where she is needed on a moment's notice. She knows the sport and is very dedicated to her team. Always a positive attitude as well. I want to congratulate Isabel Shafalo on her award. I'm also going to present the freshman award also. Um, the freshman sportsmanship award is going to go to a dedicated hard worker. She was always willing to put in the time and effort to not only herself, but all of her teammates and take the time out to help some of them as well. Congratulations to Hannah. And I'm sorry if I don't pronounce your name right, Polembo. 
congratulations, girls, and keep up the hard work, and we'll see you in 2021. Thank you, girls. Field hockey, Coach Pro, Coach Cole. Next up, Coach Murray, boys, cross country. Coach? Rob, I don't think Rob might. Coach, uh, that you're on mute still. Coach Turek, can you step in, Coach? Oh, he just joined again. <laughs> we'll come back. We'll come back to Coach Murray. So we have Coach Turek. Coach, first of all, this is a public thank you for everything that you've done for all the years here at Danbury High School. Loved having you. I tell my wife all the time, you're like having another daughter around here. But I miss you. Making Thank it harder to talk, Coach. Thank you for everything, okay? Wish you a lot of luck over at Bethel High School. Girls cross country, Coach Turek. Um, thank you, Coach. <clears throat> Just made this harder than what it, what it already was. Um, this summer, after receiving many calls, FaceTimes, and text messages from athletes, Fielding questions asking what is happening this fall. All I could tell them was, I don't know, but I know I'm going running. I ran every single day of the summer and then many more, and I was trying to set an example for them to keep moving forward. That became our mantra. We started to look for the good and be grateful for any opportunity we had. Started with the opportunity to be able to condition together again, and then we got to put on a uniform. We were able to host three home meets. We got to practice every day at Terry Wild, which is one of my favorite places. We got to have an FCAC, albeit a little different, um, championship meet at the end of the season. We got to run. We got to laugh, encourage one another, and most importantly, move forward together. Running is never canceled. Being a good friend and a good teammate is never canceled. <laughs> this is more important this year than any other. I hope they take this experience with them and continue to find the good in everything they have. I want to say thank you to the seniors, <laughs> Emily Ascona, Lucy Chen, Maya Gawley, Faith Lochner, and Jennifer Mazza. Our senior leadership came from Daniela Grulon Pena, Anita yeah. and Vivian Mendez. Our um. Our scholar athlete winner for, for girls cross country is Anna Rita Lynch. Anna Rita is uh, a girl who exhibits incredible work ethic, kindness. Her grades are wonderful and she puts 100% into everything she does. Um, our sportsmanship award goes to someone that I've known for a very long time and I'm so proud of her is Vivian Mendez. Vivian has been a good friend and a good teammate to everybody on our team um, all her years at Danbury. Um, I'm trying to say see you later instead of goodbye. Um, I have been a coach at Danbury High School for 16 years, and the people that are on this call are many of them I would consider my family. Thank you, Coach Salvestrini, Coach Tatrasicki. I miss seeing you both every morning. Coach Murray, thank you for everything you've taught me. Um, I appreciate it all. And uh, Coach Rochford, you've become a very good friend. Um, and Coach Kirsten, despite all the, the hazing I had received for a while, <laughs> I'm better for it in the end. We wish you all the best and thank you very much. Thank you, Coach Turek. I'm gonna miss you. Okay, up next, boys cross country, Coach Murray. Yes, good afternoon, everyone. Sorry about that. My uh, four-year-old son just came home from school. <laughs> so he's trying to run around the house, getting, bribing him with some M&Ms. Anyways, um, I would, first of all, I just want to, you know, really take a moment here to, uh, you know, thank uh, Coach Turret for, you know, everything she's done for the boys uh, cross-country program. Um, and for me personally, you know, as we all know, as coaches, um, 
you know, it's really important for us to establish, you know, you know, strong connections and relationships with our student athletes. And, you know, I can surely say that, you know, Coach Turk has really, you know, developed um, as long, along with myself, um, a strong relationship and respect for each other in which what we do every day um, as people, um, as, um, you know, productive people in our communities and also what she's done for all the girls and boys um, at Deborah High School um, for the last 16 years. So I want to thank her for her unbelievable, uh, you know, dedication to uh, DHS athletics and specifically uh, cr our cross country runners. Thank you very much, coach. Um, again, like everyone has uh, mentioned, you know, uh, we could be on this um, virtual banquet for hours discussing all the challenges um, that we all had to kind of overcome. Many of us kind of faced similar um, challenges, um, but we, we've gotten through it um, and we're going to continue um, not only as, as our team, but in our program, but collectively as the athletic department, we're going to continue to do what's best for our student athletes and march forward with a positive attitude, knowing that, you know, we will be stronger um, from this, um, from this, from this adversity that we're all facing each and every day. It will tr truly be embedded in our minds as we um, face other challenges in, in the future, and we will be stronger for it. For this, I want to thank um, everyone that everyone else has thanked um, from the top to the bottom, from our administration, administrative team led by Mr. Donovan, all the way to um, the athletic uh, leader of our programs, Mr. Sabastrini, um, Joanne, the athletic trainers, um, our parents um also our just our student athletes um particularly our seniors um they're going to be truly missed um when i talk about relationships um i can truly say that this group uh, more than any other group we have developed um an unbreakable um relationship that will be there forever um, i want to thank my, my seven seniors uh glenda Doty, damian armoral eduardo alves peyton bach gabriel Quatong. Joaquin Lopez Gibbons and Jared Ziner. They've all done a tremendous job, you know, leading our program um, through the summer. You know, whether we ran um, together, you know, starting in July, or whether they followed the uh, the training plans that I provided for them um, prior to that, um, or any time that we weren't able to meet, they did a tremendous job as a senior as a senior group. Um, we did have uh, captains this year. Um, they were Gabriel Quatong, Glenna Doty. Um, Damian Amaral, uh, Peyton Bach, and just want to make sure I'm not missing anyone. Um, I'm sorry, and Jared Ziner. Okay, those were our five captains this year. Um, our team, we never had one individual person that missed um, a practice um, or were not, was not accountable for not being at practice. Um, so under severe circumstances, which, you know, some kids walked to practice, some kids rode their bike to practice, some kids uh, ran to practice, um, some kids came with their sibling to practice, um, just unbelievable uh, mindset and attitude to be there for each other um, every single day. So we did something unique that we've never done in our, in the history of our program. We, uh, we recognize every athlete on our team as a varsity athlete this year for the unbelievable commitment that they gave to not only Danbury Cross Country, but Danbury High School and represented our community with great pride and great dignity. Um, our record was three and one. You know, we weren't really able to uh, race Richfield because they were quarantined. Um, so we did finish the season three and one. Gabriel Quatong, one of our senior captains, um, did sign a D1 scholarship with UMass Amherst. So congratulations to Gabriel in his, um, his continuation of his academic and athletic career at the University of Massachusetts in Amherst. Um, awards, I'd like to have uh, Coach um, Rashford, if he can unmute himself, uh, just talk a little bit about our freshman award recipient, Christian, Christian Fournier. See if, he knows how, see if Coach knows how to unmute himself. Ah, there we go, big boy. Um, the thing that, that I love about Christian is the, uh, the nickname that I gave him. We gave him the nickname Scrappy because he never, ever would give up. 
coach would send a certain group out on a four mile run, expecting the other two groups to do less. And Christian said, no, I'm going out. I'm going to do four. I don't care if I finish 20 minutes after everybody else. I don't care if I have to walk. I'm going to do whatever is expected of the best people on a team. It speaks volumes about his character. It's a tremendous choice. Congratulations, Christian. And if uh, Coach Radford could also speak about our JV uh, recipient um, for sport, our sportsmanship award, even though we did varsity, um, I'd like to also recognize Adrian Guerrera for his sportsmanship um, award this year as well. Coach Rashford. Coach, okay. yep. Yeah, I unmuted. Okay. Um, again, an, another young man that, that cut four minutes off of a time that he ran last year. He came, he worked tirelessly. He wanted coach to have higher expectations. I, I've never worked with a coach that's had as much, as high as an expectations as Rob. And Adrian wanted him to push him more. Coach, push me more. Coach, expect more of me than you already do everybody else. So again, a great honor, a great and very deserving award. Congratulations. And finally, our varsity oh, finally our varsity recipient uh, for this year is um, one of our senior captains, uh, Damian Armero. Uh, Damian started with us um, as a freshman, um, and just you know gradually worked his way physically to um, a varsity level, one of our top you know scoring athletes. Um, but he also just you know has that really great balance um, and leadership ability to not only work hard. Um, he led a lot of our daily continuous runs. Um, he pushed himself in workouts, but he also did a great job um, just being very personable, um, very encouraging, very friendly to all of his peers, um, particularly those underclassmen um, that sometimes it's hard for the upperclassmen to relate with. Um, but he was there for them every day, um, mentored them, guided them. And, you know, I thought he was a great example, along with our other seniors, um, but he was a great example of what it means to really be a varsity recipient um, and, uh, and really truly honor this this um this award so congratulations to Danny and Armorell for his um varsity sportsmanship award um our scholar athlete this year um is a senior um again you can't really get away from not being a hard worker in cross country when you have to put in you know 60 miles a week um over 2,000 miles um between July 1st and you know usually middle of November you're running about 2,000 miles, um, wearing out a lot of rubber underneath your feet. Um, this person, over all of his adversity, um, still did the job, not only for us on the cross-country courses, uh, but he also did the job academically. Um, just a tremendous kid, Joaquin Lopez Gibbons. Congratulations. And then finally, I uh, just want to recognize, again, um, Adrian was one of our most improved athletes, um, but also want to just recognize our bull, Bulldog uh, recipient this year goes to the, most, the toughest um, competitor that we see out there in the cross country course that is giving their 100% effort, uh, may not be the fastest kid on the course, but it's someone that is just digging uh, deep into, uh, into, the, into their soul to push through um, that pain that they have to inflict on themselves in order to um, be able to kind of produce the type of performance that's going to help the, their team, their teammates out. This year's Bulldog Award goes to Jared Ziner. Congratulations to all, all the student athletes. Um, really respect all of our coaches um, at Denver High School. Um, thank you for all your hard work. Um, and I look forward to um, being back in person with each and every one of you as soon as we can. Thank you, Coach Murray. Uh, last but not least, just want to take a moment before I introduce Coach Shuchat. Uh, I'd like to thank his young ladies, uh, especially girls swimming, for being very strong about competing this year when we don't have a pool. They were in Brookfield, uh, different times, all over the map. They were virtual. They had meets. Uh, they competed, 
And uh, I want to thank you, Coach Shuchat, for that. Uh, you really helped us out a lot, handling a lot of those things. And of course, your ladies competed very well, and we appreciate that. So I'd like to finish with Coach Shuchat, girls swim. Thank you, Mr. Salvestrini. You just stole half my speech, though. Um, it, it has been a very difficult season. Um, but again, like we said, like I'll echo all the other coaches, uh, big thank you to, to Mr. Salvestrini, to Joanne. Um, you guys, without your support and hard work, uh, the season couldn't have happened at all. Um, and that's what I've tried to tell my athletes the entire season as we as we went on that, you know, we need to be grateful that we were able to compete um, to any capacity. Um, so we're really grateful for your guys' help. Uh, Emily and Gabriella were awesome. They were so quick to respond to any questions, any anything we did. The Sports U app was huge this year. I think uh, communication was was really great. And, and like I said, um, Emily and Gabriella did an amazing job getting back uh, so quickly. Uh, so this year we had to go to the YMCA pool. We had about uh, eight o'clock at night practices. So that was really difficult for the girls. I, I really appreciate the parents as well. Thank you parents for, for dealing with that, especially we all know the beginning of with cohorts and uh, shortened practice times that, that it was definitely difficult for um, the teams to get rides to and from practice and make sure um, that they were getting there on time and, and had a ride both ways. Um, we, we, in the beginning of the year, we had to be in an outdoor pool at the YMCA in about 30 degree weather at eight o'clock at night um, and no use of locker rooms for girls swimming. Um, uh, I really respect all of the girls for, for working so hard and showing that dedication and pride for their sport to come out and, um, and deal with these conditions that, that we had to deal with. Um, like Mr. Salvatrini said, he never thought he'd have virtual awards. I, I never thought we'd have a virtual swim meet. Um, and we had a couple of those this year, which were Again, the girls really took this, this in stride um, to compete with no other team there um, and, and see the girls up and cheering each other on and pumping each other up to, um, to compete the way they did was, was really impressive to see. Um, and, and I really commend the girls for doing that. Our captains were amazing this year, Priya Patel, Tanya DiMello, Ali Simmons, and Olivia Melendez. Um, they all did an amazing job uh, making sure the girls kept socially distanced, that they wear their mask, um, helping out with the COVID checklist. Uh, uh, without your girls' help, I, I really appreciate you captains. Um, you know, we could have had a stop to our season, and, and I think the hard work by our captains and, and all the captains and all the athletes this, this fall season um, really, really showed by us not having to shut down um, and, and not be able to do that. We were able to have our senior night this year. Um, and that was coordinated really nicely by, by our team. Um, the girls did an amazing job for us to be able to um, support our, our, our seniors and give them a good send off uh, for their final season. Um, I'll get to my awards. Um, our sportsmanship award um, is to someone who always came to the pool smiling, happy to be there. Um, she showed amazing positivity um, in such a trying time that we're in right now. Um, she was always making myself, making other teammates laugh um, at the meet. She was always so supportive of everyone and, and really um, was there to cheer everybody on. And the award goes to Tamia Espinal, Tamia Espinal for sportsmanship. Congratulations, Tamia. Um, and lastly, our scholar, uh, a scholar athlete goes to another uh, one of our captains. Um, she, she did an amazing job over the past two years uh, of really um, helping out with the team in, in every aspect that we needed, um, taking care of apparel, helping out with the COVID checklists, um, you know, showing an amazing attitude last year and this year. Even last year, we had limited pool time, and, and she really uh, made sure the girls knew um, that we were there to, to perform and have a, have a you know, nice season. Um, but an amazing job for her to get the Scholar Athlete Award. It goes to Priya Patel. Congratulations, Priya. Thank you, everyone. Appreciate your time. Thank you, Coach. Uh, just like to take a moment. Uh, again, thank you, coaches, athletes, for a quite an interesting fall. Let's be clear about it. We would not have been here or not be here without the support of you, coaches, uh, Emily and Gabriella school administration, <clears throat> school district, to allow us to compete. It was not an easy task, 
not an easy. It's not one of those things that you would like to be doing after 40 years as an athletic director. I learned a bunch of stuff this year about myself. Uh, you know, you. I always tell people you have to draw on motivation anyway, anyhow to improve, to be the best you can every single day. I hate COVID. I hate everything about it because um, it hurt my kids. It hurt our program. It hurt our coaches. Um, more fire, more passion than ever before to get us back to the level we'd like to be. And hopefully we can get there next fall. And hopefully we can start to see some changes come this spring. I'd like to see Darian, Greenwich, any of them run a virtual award program like this. This is great stuff. I love you. I wish you all a wonderful holiday season. Got to sit back and you got to look who's in your room with you, your children, your parents, your cousins, your whatever. I keep forgetting we have to social distance, according to Dr. Fauci. No big pasta night on Christmas Eve for Salvestrini's this year, Thierry. But I wish you all well. And thank you for your effort. And again, I thank you athletes out there. And please, athletes, you have to social distance, wear masks. Thank you very much. Appreciate everything you've done. Have a good holiday. Take care, folks.